All right. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Unpacking. This is a game that a couple of my friends had introduced me to, and I looked on the Steam page, and it seemed super cozy, and I thought, um, what better way to um, really start off the new year other than to play a very super nice and cozy game, definitely the way that it was intended. So yeah, let's see what this game has to offer. Oh, no. Okay, I see. Okay, graze out when you can't place something on a surface. All right, we're gonna um, put this right here, just so that whenever anyone tries to get onto the bed or come off of a bed, they will have um, a really useful, handy-dandy thing happening there. Oh, okay, a little backpack. That's cool. Where should we place this? I really like the color design on this one. Under the bed? Hmm. Ah, okay, so you can right-click to uh, rotate it. There's only two ways to rotate it though. Then I'll just I'll just put the backpack like here, you know? Oh, okay. The the soccer trophy, I see. Um, if I'm thinking about trajectory here, my vision for this really is that, you know, you wake up in the morning, you stretch and you yawn and you, you start thinking about breakfast. And so then once you start climbing down the bed, you know, maybe you uh oh, you know, you you get a get a foot full of the of the soccer ball and then you fall i can imagine somebody slipping here and then maybe falling okay okay that's quite nice all right um okay i think this is a good good setup for it and maybe that maybe you try since you've fallen on this trophy you try to reach over for your backpack where your phone is i guess let me make sure to turn that though um actually yeah let me make sure to turn it away from you so that if you, if you let me see i'm envisioning falling slipping onto a trophy trying to reach out and grab for your phone or for some kind of help. Let me just nudge that right out of the line of, there you go. So then your arm would just be just short of it. Um, all right, let's see what else is here. Okay, we can just put that right here. Oh, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, actually, I'm gonna put a ruler right here so that you you try to grab it to like get, like, you know, get your backpack, um, try to like, you know, pull it towards you, but then the ruler snaps in half. So so I, I just really want that, that hope that leads to despair. Oh, the diary. Ooh, okay, this is great for a crime scene. I mean, a perfectly accidental scene. I mean, I mean, just a perfectly normal, organized room that has no ulterior motives at all. So your diary, um, as your, I mean, let me see, as as this person is probably like, you know, dying on the floor, gasping after like, this trophy has gone through them, uh, they'd probably be reaching for their backpack, but maybe secretly they've been reaching for their diary to kind of like send out that last tweet before you go, you know, notebook. Pretty standard, standard stuff. Oh my gosh, yes, I love the snapping. Um, all right, we have a picture frame here. <laughs> nice. Is this a child's room? Now I'm, I'm second guessing the whole like premise of this video idea that I had. I guess I'll put it. Ooh, <laughs> suddenly everything has changed. I guess I'll put it there. Maybe, maybe you wake up and you. This is the last thing you would see before you step onto your. Well, no, this this would it would be over here is the last thing you see. So your line of sight, as you slip off of the soccer ball, fall onto the soccer trophy, reach for the ruler, reach out for your bag, miss the bag, but you're really reaching for your diary. Maybe that's the last thing you take a glimpse of. All right, let's see what else. Oh, okay, you were also saving up for something. I don't even know what this is. Just like a little game. Sure. Oh, oh my God, I forgot the word for this. Rubik's cube. Okay, I have another story. Okay, so this person gets out of bed, yawns, they, they climb down their bunk bed ladder here. Um, their foot slips on the soccer ball. Their, their second foot, as the foot is coming up, as they're slipping, their foot accidentally solves a Rubik's cube. There you go, right there. Then they fall the trophy reach for the backpack, which is, re you know, really reaching for the diary, etc., etc. Trash bin. I'm just gonna place that right there. All right, that box is done. Oh, they shouldn't have given me scissors. <laughs> okay, people, the scenario has changed. They wake up, they go on the ladder. One foot slips on a soccer ball. While they're falling, the other foot solves a Rubik's Cube with their toes. They fall onto a trophy, and then, as if that wasn't bad enough, they fall onto these scissors that are right next to the trophy, reach out for the ruler to try to hit their bag, to try to get to their diary to write down their last final words. This is fun. This is a fun game. I honestly can see why most people are are, are super psyched about this. I'm also very psyched about this. An eraser. Um, you can't erase your past mistakes. Oh, 
I guess I'll um, put this little friend here because they're going to be the witness to the death. Um, you can really see in their eyes the expression of someone who has been forced to watch something that they'll never be able to unsee. What is this? Wrapping paper? Ra wrapping paper? Am I... No, is it like a yoga mat? That one's just gonna go on the bed as like an extra blanket for when you're cold. Snooze fest. I don't care about these books. Okay, this little... Shoot, maybe to appease the horrors that this dragon has witnessed, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give them a little... I'll give them a little entertainment. Oh my gosh, another witness. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're gonna be right here. Actually, it'd be so funny. Okay, here, let's, the scenario has changed. You're, re you're reaching out with your ruler to contact your, no, I thought it would slot into this. Oh, that's, that's a travesty. Okay, here, that makes sense. Here, let's move the backpack like all the way to the back. This is no longer relevant for my story, for my, my envisioned scenario. So this person wakes up, rolls up their weird yoga mat blanket thing, climbs down the ladder, slips on the soccer ball, their other foot, their toes, solve the Rubik's Cube, they fall on a trophy, and then scissors, a trophy and then scissors, the order is very important. They have no one else to cry out for help to, the dragon has already tried to scream, but its mouth is sewn shut, and so the person grabs a ruler to try to reach out to ask their, their kitty cat stuffed animal for help, but she just watches and she grins. She grins because she did this. <laughs> now I like the idea of her being some kind of like evil aura. Okay, this is a nice, another little book. Let's just do that. All right, what is, or is it a camera? Why is it, no. Why does it look like a camera? Oh, oh, it is a camera. Oh, <laughs> I thought this like plastic thing was like a, like a Hot Wheels <laughs> track or something. Okay, um, that's even better because um, your evil stuffed animals, maybe your stuffed, maybe the dragon was in on it, huh? Maybe they set this up on purpose. Maybe in the middle of the night, they worked together to to place the soccer ball there. And you just never knew because they, they, they work so quietly because they're plush. Their hands are made of fabric. So yes, I think it is fitting that maybe the cat was the one who's the brains of the operation, you know, and then the 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 dragon is just, you know, the, the kind of like the, the goon. The dragon is the muscle, really. The one who like has to lift all the heavy objects, but but the cat is really the brains of the operation. So I think they're watching you as you as you as you lay on the floor skewered with the trophy and scissors. Um they're just they're just watching and smiling. Maybe maybe you know, maybe you know because they have the camera right there like ready to take a picture of the crime scene. So maybe you know and you're and you're trying to defend yourself with the ruler, but they're guarding your diary so you can't write down your last words to be like, "I know who did it." So you guys, this is going to be a cold case. Okay, what is this? A flashlight. Hmm. Ah, maybe you got up in the middle of the night and usually you would have your flashlight up here to help you get down your ladder, but your stuffed animals took it from you and you couldn't find it because they had secretly put it in the, the, this cabinet. So in the middle of the night, in the dark, this person had to try to find their way around and that is why they didn't see the soccer ball. They didn't see the Rubik's Cube or the trophy nor the scissors. But in the dead of night, they could just make out the brief outlines through the moonlight that was coming in through the window. They could make out the outlines of their murderers. Okay, let's see what else is going on. Oh, no, just, just some more books. Ah, a bus. I think this will be a red herring. I think we're just gonna, gonna kind of put this, put this wherever it needs to be put. A jump rope. Hmm. I'm scheming. Okay, I failed. I can't think of anything. Yeah, this is definitely a child's room. Maybe I shouldn't have started. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have started this in a child's room. <laughs> this has turned into like a Five Nights at Freddy's situation so quickly. Oh my gosh, another, <laughs> another culprit. Oh, they're all so evil. They're just watching it happen. Oh my God, yet yeah, another culprit. This was the lookout. This was the scout. So I like to think that, can I, oh shoot, I can't. I, I, I wanted to face face the bed. Oh, oh, yeah. Ultimate betrayal. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. This, uh, this little horsey was the scout. So as soon as they saw you stirring, try, like about to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they like, you know, whispered down. They're like, hey, we're ready. Everything's put in place. They're up. They're up. You know, show, show time. And so then that's how the cat knew to, to load the film into the camera because she was like, oh, no, this is for sure about to happen. Um, so this is the, the scout. And, and they betrayed you. Because they're your favorite. See, look, you, you you drew a little picture of them. Like, kill your darlings, you know? You know, kill your heroes. Because this toy that you used to idolize, yeah, they were out to get you the whole time. Let's see what else. 
we have action figure. Um, because she's a, a hero. Okay, we have two. Uh, they're starting to become like a gang here. There's a lot, quite a lot of them. Um, okay, this is like another goon. The hero figure was was watching everything that went down, so she was trying to to intervene with it. But she's currently being occupied by this goon that's like blocking her from from for in, from intervening. Where it's gonna have them in a in an all out battle against the evil that's happening here. All right, next. Oh my gosh, there's more horses. <laughs> there's more horses. I, okay, okay, I can't keep up with all of these. Actually, maybe just for the sake of having like a little bit spicy, she the hero does have a noble steed. That's helping her try to fight, try to fight this guy. And you know what? Maybe this horse, he started his job as the lookout, but maybe he, he had to finish his job as um, partial combatant against the hero who is trying to get this all to stop. I can't really decide if this is going to be like post-crime scenes or pre-crime scenes, I don't know, or post-enactment scenes. Okay, troll dolls, I feel like are, are pure neutral, so I, I think I'm going to put this one here. This one is going to like end up being the... This toy is going to end up being the one that squeals to the police eventually. Um, it's it's the toy that no one can really take notice of because there's like this beam here. So nobody notices that the troll is always watching and, and saw all of it go down. All right, there's so many toys. There are so many toys. Okay, maybe there's somebody else on the hero side. That's that's all I can say for this. What is that? A metal? A whistle? What is that? Oh, it's, it's a Tamagotchi. The Tamagotchi is, is powerless, but the Tamagotchi was also a witness to the crime. Here, look, they're down here. They're watching. They're like, no, I need to be fed in two hours. Oh, who's this? Oh, this this guy's kind of a cool guy. I don't know, maybe he's like a neutral party. Maybe he's like, I see what's going on here and I want no part of it. Maybe he just agreed he wouldn't snitch. You know, he seems kind of cool like that. He's like, I'm not going to snitch. In fact, I'm going to play this little Game Boy. Okay, this, this is kidding. This is getting overwhelming. There's like a 10 party structure here. I think that little Miss Pig here, um, she's probably gonna like be lying in wait underneath, like right next to the ladder. I think she was supposed to be like insurance, you know, like just to make sure that if your foot didn't hit the soccer ball, you didn't fall over, she would be there to try to trip you over, you know? So she's ultimately on the side of all the baddies. All right, oh no. <laughs> oh no, there's another betrayal here. Oh, maybe there's maybe there's a change of heart, huh? Maybe maybe at the very last minute, Miss Pig, uh, maybe she chickened out. You know, maybe she's over here in the corner, and she's like, I can't do it anymore, and she hid in the corner because she saw that you made this this picture. No, oh, it's a frame. Oh, it's like a frame that's a okay. Fine, here. Maybe Miss Pig saw this drawing that she made of her that she had never seen before. Maybe it's like a brand new drawing. And then she was like about to about to sabotage you here. But then she saw the drawing and she was like, actually, I can't do this anymore. I, I, I'm out. I quit. I quit this life. So she hid behind the backpack to try to try to give herself some some witness protection so that even after you're gone, um, <laughs> the other ones won't come after her for, for being a defector. Also, while all this is happening, there are some thing in tunes. I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe if the evil trio here got tired of waiting for you to come down in the middle of the night, they just decided that they would have the radio as like a second option for turning on music and then making you get out of bed, turn it off. That seems like something they would do. Cassette tapes? Okay, yeah. They had them at the ready. They had them ready to go. And just a couple of more books. Oh, that's it. Um, what? Did, did, did I, did I not? Did I not pass the... I thought this was you could make any scene that you wanted to make. What are, what are they... Um, picture? Should I take a picture of the... of this, uh... What is this? Ooh. Oh, yes! I love this action! <laughs> I love this action, love this energy. Can I do little effects on it? Yeah, let's, what about a, like a red... Um, not quite. I was looking for... Ooh, yes! I was looking for kind of evil. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, I like the evil. Actually, this is kind of a cool one. This is this is like post crime scene noir, but I do like the uh, the evil brooding one. <laughs> Love the stickers. Um, I think the cat is like go, go, Operation Go. Are they gonna force me to move things? They are. Ugh, these people are evil. They won't even let me. <laughs> they won't let me be creative. I thought there was no wrong way to unpack something. Here, the diary is gonna go in the drawer, I get it. Why wouldn't the boom- why, where else would a boom box be? Oh, 
Oh my god. Yoga mat. What? What is this thing? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, I was doing this the whole time not knowing. This is how the room is before... Before, uh, everyone was plotting. Oh, now they'll let me go. <laughs> okay, so we, we've learned also the sunlight is streaming in. Was that like that? The, no, that wasn't like that before, I swear. Okay, this is what happens after they find your body and then they put everything back haphazardly into place with nobody knowing the evil deeds that happened here between all of your stuffed animals. Okay, that is level one done. This is such a cute game though, by the way. I am enjoying myself. Finally, my own room. Oh, oh, if only you knew, sweetie. Oh, there's a playback. <laughs> what? Hold on. I didn't know this. Oh, that's it. You can see me live, like, strategizing, plotting, planning. Yeah, I love the... <laughs> I love the animations that I'm making in the unpacking game that I didn't know I was making. Perfect. How do I leave? Okay. 2004. Oh no, we're like following somebody's life. Narratively, my crime scene idea makes no sense with the lore of unpacking. Oh, this one has like multiple rooms. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. This is pretty extensive. I am a little bit overwhelmed. Here, what's in here? Nice. Just trying to get a feel of the real estate here. There's an entire computer that needs to be unpacked. There is a kitchen with a microwave. It is perpetually 7 a.m. Time of the crime. Oh, we're gonna have uh, cutlery. That's gonna be fun. Pretty standard bathroom. Okay, and that's everything. All right, it's not as overwhelming as I thought it would be. So the question is, should there be crime scenes in each of these or should there be like a whole crime scene throughout this entire apartment? We could probably make this pretty elaborate. Let's see what we got though first. I guess I'll start with the most boxes. Um, posters, cool. No inspiration is coming to me just yet. A lot of stationery here. The entire laptop <laughs> will go here, I suppose. Wait, are these video games or what are these supposed to be? Books or video games? They look like, they feel like video games. Mouse, but no mouse pad. No, let's scoot that, scoot that over. Ah, mouse pad, perfect. <laughs> Ooh, and then it, it locks, that's, that's very nice, very satisfying. Okay, a familiar item, the ruler. The one thing that apparently they didn't clean up from the last crime scene. Ooh, another diary. I'll be honest, there's not much material here. That It might be the kitchen where the crime happens. Ooh, what is this? Um, oh my god, what, what were they called? iPods? Is that what it was? Uh, I had an MP3 player when I was young. At first I had a, like a CD player with a headphone jack. It was like a Spongebob themed CD player. And then I upgraded to an MP3 player where I would load up my Ed Sheeran songs. This game is getting to me. I'm just, I'm just unpacking now. I'm... I'm losing my ways. I'm losing my objective. Is this the same? Yeah. There are some toys and figurines that are remnants of the other crime. Can I like move them? Oh my gosh, I can move them. Okay. Should they like, <laughs> should... <laughs> should the toys be like lying in wait in the kitchen? Oh my gosh, I just realized that the time is changing. That is, that's terrifying to me. Very neatly folded pants. I wonder... Oh no, the soccer ball. Oh no, okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if they're using the Marie Kondo folding method. Um, but then I just saw the infamous soccer ball, which is dirtied, probably from the uh, the, the prior crime that, that we set up. Can I put the soccer ball in the game? What if this person's toys are just trying to set up the exact same scenario in the new apartment? They're, these are like the same stuffed animals that are trying to kill them over and over again. I think their horse drawing turned into like a pony Sona. Or, or, is that a, or is that a cat? I can't tell, it might be a cat girl. Cat girl goes over the bed, framed, next to an unframed thing. Oh my gosh, yes, we have we have some of the, the usual culprits. They're, they're planning, they're plotting and planning. I'm already setting the scene. It's gonna go down in the kitchen, for sure. Also, they don't have an oven? That's concerning. Toothbrush. Why is your toothbrush not in the bathroom box? Also, why was it packed just naked, open to any germs, any amoeba and bacteria. Oh my gosh, are they, they're little artists. They have like this little, ah, cute. Okay. <laughs> I got a dab sticker. Oh my God, a boom box. Did I have, I think I had one of these too as a kid, but it was like Barbie themed. Can we, um, here, you know what's always amazing for a crime scene is that you leave one single shoe. That's how you know somebody wrecked their shit at the site. 
the other shoe. Other shoe is gonna be tucked underneath the desk. Okay, maybe in the closet. I'm imagining that maybe they get up one morning and they look and they see that they only have one shoe so they have to go on like a search through their apartment, their, their studio apartment or their dorm, probably a dorm room more likely, um, to find their second shoe. And then that's where they'll meet their unfortunate end in the kitchen, but we'll unpack that later, literally. Where's the other shoe for this? Oh wait, no, this should be, this should be, it should be hung up. T-shirts, blouses should be hung up. And maybe hoodies too. Okay, here, this, these are like designer tees. I, I need, yeah, hoodies, blouses. The I believe the correct term for multiple blouses is blice. Hmm. Which way do they enter this kitchen? If they enter the kitchen this way, they'll see their shoe here in the threshold. And they'll be like, oh, why is that there? Maybe actually here. They'll reach down for it. They won't see the secret <laughs> bus that's right here. In fact, the bus should be going this way so that their foot really slides there. What if this is on the counter just waiting to fall on their head? That wouldn't be lethal, though. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I've made an error. I mean, you have a wireless computer, right? You have Yeah, we have wireless towers in the year 2004, I'm pretty sure. Brah. There's not that much drawer space. There's, there's really not that much drawer space. Poster. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Evil incarnate. Evil incarnate. You're going right here next to Mr. Pig. Oh no, Miss Piggy. Wait, did she lose her bow last time? She had like a, a red bow on her. I'm begging them to buy some more hangers. There's so much closet space for this. Actually here. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say gaming in bed, bro. <laughs> Just put it right there. Still missing another shoe. Toaster. I know where that's going. I know exactly where that's going. Whee! <laughs> okay. Nice, I got an achievement for that. Ooh, that actually reminds me. Maybe we should have a whole bath scene set up. All right, let's get everything unpacked first though. Rubik's Cube. Ah, yes. Solving the old Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Let's put that in the bathroom. This is a great, this is an amazing enrichment activity for when you're on the pooper. Now I regret not putting the bras in the top drawer. Oh my god. Toilet paper. Actually, no, you know what? Just, I think everyone uses their bathtub for storage, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's what humans do. Okay, everything in the- Oh no, that's so unsatisfying, <laughs> this one shoe. Oh god dang it. Let's go over to the bathroom. Soap. We're gonna put that right on the floor. Put the towel on the hook. Can I put the toothbrush in there? That'd be so <gasps> oh, okay. This game. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game of the year. <laughs> My type A ass just never knew what was gonna hit me. Okay, deodorant. You know what? Deodorant goes. Deodorant just goes right up here in the cabinet. That's where the spices are, you know? Perfume, I suppose? That's also gonna go in the spice rack. There we go. First aid. <laughs> I'll put the first aid <laughs> in the kitchen where the crime scene is gonna be. All the way on the back. Maybe all the way in the top. No! You're ruining this for me! Where the hell am I gonna put the- Okay, good. Ah, okay. I was like, what are these? <laughs> Just tampons. Little tiny pixelated tampons. Oh, shampoo and conditioner both going on the toilet. I like to shampoo and condition at the same time while I'm on the toilet, <laughs> of course. It's just the only way to multitask. You know, toilet paper should really, really be on the sink, just in case you need to like wipe your dishes down, you know? Oh no, I've made a mistake. I want this to be there now. Pads with the tampons, double protection. Trash can, just put that right in the path of egress, just to really make sure there's an improper escape in case there's fire in the bathroom. Why is there a pan? This does take the phrase bedpan to another level. So you know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just, just in case you gotta go in the middle of the night. Oh yeah, we're done already. <laughs> we're already done. Okay, let's see what's in the kitchen. And I think we could fully set our crime scene up properly. Let's just put cups in drawers. That's what a human being does, right? Uh, here, with sugar. The staples are really gonna go on the top shelf because you know you, you never need the staples. Plates, lower cabinets. That'll be perfect for your lower lumbar. Trying to reach down every single day to get a plate. Cutlery. How about we put these friends all the way at the top here so that 
so that you can't call them liable for what's going to happen to this poor college student. We'll put the towel in the sink because that way it'll dry your dishes at the same time that you're washing them. So like you'll wash the dishes and then just like put them down. The towel's right there. So that's a pretty advanced spice. It's pretty rare to see in spice cabinets here um, in America. But yeah, hand soap definitely can be used to elevate a meal. Is this Raid? <laughs> Raid is also a pretty rare, a rare delicacy here. Ah, damn it, I wish it was an open grill. That would have helped my crime scene. I'll just leave it on the floor right now. Cutting board. Where's the knives? Give me the knives. I think that's oil. We'll just put that right on the dishes. Have a nice little oil slick going on. Now, I don't do this often, but if you want, you could use a cheese grater on a sponge, and that really creates like a beautiful... Um, a beautiful like garnish for your dishes. So I will also put this in the spice cabinet. It is rare, again, there's knives here, but I'm really waiting for like a proper knife block, you know? And I'm not getting it. Why is the keyboard in there? Oh, yes! <laughs> if only I could rotate it to be standing up. <laughs> oh, here's the other shoe. <laughs> Can I leave it like this? <laughs> <laughs> this is how they get up in the morning. They get up in the morning and make this exact pose just to get into their shoes. They never change it. This is how it has to be. All right, a potato peeler. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see how we could <laughs> maneuver that to be right in the doorway. Just to really scrape the bottom of that heel when you step in. I will accept any compliments on the way that I am impeccably decorating this wonderful home. Is sugar a spice or is it a condiment? I don't know. Coffee, maybe? We'll put that next to the spices. <laughs> Everything in this person's home is the spice. Oh, paper towels. We don't need that shit. We have toilet paper here. Let's put that shit in the fucking bathroom or something. I don't know. Let's put that near the bed. Sometimes, sometimes a person gets a little lonely. No, don't you dare tell me that, that I've done something wrong. Okay, if we just ignore the pulsating red outlines of all of this, I do want to solidify the crime part of this stuff. I, I do really like the narrative of, of you waking up early in the morning, it's, you know, full daylight. You're like, hmm, love, I love life. And then you get up, you put on your shoes in a very normal human way, and then you walk over to try to start picking out your your outfit for the day. By the way, yes, you do put on boots before you shower and before you have any other clothes on. That's just like, these are like your house slippers. After you put on your house slipper boots, you go over, you try looking for your regular tennis shoes, you realize that there's one missing. So you try to go over to the bathroom, figure out if you've left it in there. Opening the bathroom, you knock over the trash can and in that tizzy, you accidentally slip on this tiny bar of soap. You fall and crack your head on the tiles, but that's not enough to kill you, all right? That was just the appetizer. That was the hors d'oeuvre that your evil stuffed animal friends tried to set up. So you peel yourself off the tile floor. You tell yourself, oh, we need to wake up a little bit. This is a little bit of a crazy start to a morning. So you, you try to start a shower. You realize your toaster's in your shower for some reason. You didn't put it there. And also it's sogging up your damn toilet paper roll. And you only have one roll left now. And you got to go back to the store and buy a new pack. And you're like, God, why do I just eat through toilet paper in this place? It's not like I'm using it to, to clean my dishes or anything. <laughs> You're like, gosh, I just used so much toilet paper in this household. So imagine that your tub is full, the toaster's fucking in it, you can't drain the tub or else you're gonna get electrocuted, your toilet paper's soggy. Maybe you reach behind you and throw a towel over the, over the toaster. Try to throw a couple towels in there to see if it soaks up the electricity, because that's how it works. And then maybe while you're sitting here thinking about how to improve your life, you, you, just, you just casually do, do your Rubik's Cube. Just, just casually solve your little Rubik's Cube, you know? So then you decide that you should probably call somebody to fix the uh, electrocuted bath situation and you can't take a shower and also you can't take a sink bath because all of your towels and rags are in the <laughs> in the bathtub. So you just decide to forego the shower because you took one last night. You go pick out some clothes to wear for the day and then you decide to step into the kitchen, which is when shit goes down. 
the first step you take, you, you step on a potato peeler, so now a chunk of your heel is off, which causes you to hop on one foot while you grab your injured heel, but then while hopping on one foot, you accidentally... Okay, let's say that it's your left foot. And so then you're hopping on your right foot, you slide onto... We're gonna, we're gonna save that for later. You slide onto the bus, Let's say the bus carries your foot over here, and then you, you, you grab onto this hook to save yourself. And you're like, whew, that was a close call. This has been happening to me a lot in my life. Huh, I wonder why. Why do you guys think stuffed animals who definitely have my best interests in mind? By the way, I really didn't know that this cat was going to be in this level. <laughs> it's just so hilarious that I was like, she's the ringleader. And I suppose... Miss Pig just finally broke down and lost her resolve against these plots. And so all she can do is just, you know, participate in it anyway, even though she doesn't want to. It is interesting that all of the hero characters that were in the last level are just gone in this level. They got freaking tossed in the trash, man. Okay, anyway, I'm getting off track. So, so this bus has carried you. You've grabbed onto the towel hook, so you're safe. And you're like, phew, gosh, that's crazy. Maybe then... You just... No, I wish you would let me put something on an edge. I was gonna say, maybe then you just literally turn, like, rotate slightly to your left and there's a knife right there that just stabs into you. And you're like, really? This is what takes me out? This one knife that was right here after I did all of that? Okay, that's. let's say that's what does happen. Imagine that this is floating off of the corner. You just turn to your left because then you'll be perfectly facing your your perpetrators here and they'll be staring at you with those lifeless soulless eyes and also i guess there's a grill here for some reason maybe maybe the soccer ball is with them because they're like we'll never forget we'll never let you forget i think that's i think that's pretty nice this is like their trophy of them like hurting you when you were a young child these evil ass plushies Together we can create the real lore of unpacking. <laughs> See, I would have loved it if the grill were open, because then I could like make this whole thing about like, well, you fell and then your face fell into the open grill. It's just like, dear God, what kind of final destination plot is that? You know what? Maybe as like a as a second backup, because you know that my girl loves loves a backup plan, right? Maybe as a backup plan, she did have she had the grill next to her, so she was like, if this doesn't work. The backup plan is to just push the grill onto their head while it's open. I'm going to go sort this out so that the game doesn't scream at me and so that the game will actually let me progress in any sort of way and then I'll show you like the boring before version of this apartment or dorm or something. I will be right back. Oh, I got an achievement. Why? Cookie jar? What was that? Put the cookie jar out of reach. Oh, that's cute. The fact that they are sleeping in your bed, it's disgusting. You don't even know how evil they are. It's moments like these where I honestly wish you could pick up multiple items at a time. But I guess that defeats the virtue that is patience. Okay, oh, come on. I can't even keep my, I can't even keep my pondering cube. All right, here is my stupidly organized bedroom. Blech, who cares? My plain organized bathroom, whatever, no interest. They wouldn't even let me keep my toilet cube. Here is my boring, dumb, organized kitchen. Whatever. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I really do love this game, though. I'm, I'm gonna go back and play this game on my own accord, because it has been, like, super satisfying to, uh, to play. All right, let's see what is going to be the third level, 2007. Oh my gosh! Okay, so cute. They're like a little cosplay artist. You can, you can see the, you can see the, the little, 
the sewing machine. All right, so I cannot, I am attempting to touch things and it will not let me touch things. Okay, this, these are fixed items. So I guess we're just gonna have to negotiate with the space that's already given to us, huh? Like, go, like let, let me roll out the rug at least. Oh, okay, now we have, a, we have an entire floor plan. I don't know why the floor plan would have extra rooms if we're not gonna get to the extra rooms later. Living room, kitchen. Oh my lord, see, let, please, unpacking, let me, let me clean the dishes at least. And I'm very angry that they won't let me take a knife out of the knife block because I'm trying to look around for any potential crime scenes I could make. If I can't do like tiny crime scenes in each room, then I'll have to just, I'll have to figure out, I'll have to make do. I'm very curious to see if any certain stuffed animals, okay, this, this is a lot of stuff. I'm curious to see if any certain stuffed animals are gonna be, are gonna be, uh, um, oh gosh. If there are, they're gonna sit right here. What are these? Rocks? This person likes bugs and anime. That's pretty cool. Watching my little artist grow up and narrowly escape death twice in their life. Okay, enough dilly-dallying. What has the least amount of things? Oh, are we moving in with someone? Yeah, toothbrush right on the floor. I mean, right next to the drain where all the hair collects, you know? Yeah, we are moving in with someone. We're moving in with two people. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That's why the, the rooms are grayed out because this, this isn't our room. These are our roomies rooms. So one of the roomies is, is a cosplay person. The other roomie is a is a bug fanatic. Ah, they've, they've given me clues the entire time. There's three controllers. All right, we have a toothbrush. We have toothpaste, razor, nail clipper. All right, nail clipper, I can't see being involved in any evil plans. So let's just put that right on the top of the cabinet. Oh my God, I have to maneuver around other people's stuff. This is my worst nightmare. Compromise. All right, hairbrush. Um, makeup? Nail polish, I think. Uh, makeup? <laughs> I don't know. Deodorant, our old friend. We, we might as well go ahead and slap these right into the spice cabinets, huh? Ooh, the good old never change that shampoo and conditioner. These are probably the same bottles from college. Trusty companions, tampons and pads, and good old air freshener. I think it's safe to say that the bathroom probably won't have much of a crime scene component to it. It just, they're not really giving me much to work with. So maybe I think I'm gonna pivot in this one room and just try to become the worst possible roommate I could be. So nail clipper in the shower. Oh, I can open it. Nail clipper in the shower. As people just get those like crunchy nail bits right there when they try to step into the tile. Febreze in the shower. Let's see, where could I put my shampoo and conditioner? On top of the toilet. Ah, uh, hmm, we did that last time. It's not fresh. Maybe right in the laundry bat. No, oh my God, I won't even slut. How about just right in front of the laundry door? That makes sense. I'll never pick it up off the floor. Body wash is gonna go uh, next to the laundry detergent, just just because I really want them to have to maneuver around it and navigate navigate that conflict. And or even worse, like absentmindedly grab the body wash and pour it into the washing machine. Which, by the way, I don't think I've ever seen a washing machine in a bathroom before. Usually, they're always kept a little separate. That's kind of interesting. Well, then where's the dryer? <laughs> Maybe they have a drying rack somewhere on the property. I sure hope so. Scrub brush, um, let's put it right next to the toilet so that they know that you're ready at any moment to use this scrub brush um, as the toilet scrub brush. Toothbrush, I think, uh, okay. I was gonna put it up here on this shelf to say like, I will put my naked toothbrush right next to your cosmetics. And if you get even one piece of residue on my toothbrush, I will yell at you, even though it's me who did it. I want deodorant to go in the shower for some reason. Perfume, put it on the toilet as like a really passive aggressive way to tell your roommates that they stink. Cosmetics, maybe just, just slide that right there, right there in the shower. I feel like this is torturing me more than it's torturing other roommates. Shaving supplies is gonna go on top of the mirror so that if someone ever closes or opens the mirror a little bit too aggressively, my razor will fall on top of their head and hopefully shave a bald line along their scalp. And then toothpaste is just gonna go in the sink. Voila. All right, let's do kitchen. Oh, just some nice mugs. It's just a standard towel. Oh, wait, I guess I should be. You know what? No, I'll keep those up there. Another towel just in case we need it. Uh, hey, you guys aren't putting the towels underneath your <laughs> underneath your dishes here. What kind of what kind of pigsty is this? We're not putting towels in the freaking sink. Ah, yes, the old, <laughs> here, I'm just gonna leave that out. Oh, no, I can't put the cookie jar up. Come on, we have all this real estate, dude. Fine, I'll put it next to like all the sugary stuff then. But this does make me think that we are 100% going to have the same stuffed animals coming back 
uh, for revenge. I'm gonna keep this oil out. The oh, I'm gonna keep this knife out too, <laughs> just to give myself some material to work with. Ah, these are adorable. Ooh, plates, boring bowls, boring. I don't want to merge my assets with these people. I'm too good for them. You know how many times I've survived certain death <laughs> twice, and it's not a lot of times, but it's weird that it happened that many. Here, have my one pan. I'm gonna take up real estate on the stove. And I'm gonna do that thing where I won't even give you a different eye that you can use because no matter what, <laughs> the pan is always gonna be on one eye and then the pan handle is always going to be on, the, is always going to be blocking the other one. Ah, the good old George Foreman. What, oh, but now I could put this here. Sure, that, that'll pose a hazard later on, I love that. Ah, the raid. Let's, let's keep the raid out. First aid kit, we already know, goes all the way in the back of the cabinet. We don't believe in first aid here in my house. Let's go to the living room. We're gonna have to do some squeezing in here. Cause we have a lot of boxes and not a lot of space. Ooh, okay. One perpetrator has shown up. I actually think this was one of the heroes <laughs> that was supposed to be backing up uh, the other hero lady uh, in the first level. I just somehow subconsciously turned it into like a double cross moment. Oh, I think I feel like the kitchen has the most like opportunities. What is this, a glove? Why does it look like somebody's severed hand is still in that glove? Is that what I'm looking at? What is what? What is that? Oh, come on now. I mislabeled all my damn boxes. Huh. Oh my lord. I just plopped down all my boxes without thinking twice. And also that, that was such a waste of space. I think that box had a shirt, a pot, a book, and that was it. <laughs> Rascal? Is that what that board game says? Oh, that's fine. Let's put that, let's put that right here. Yeah. No, I'm playing the game as intended. Oh, is this a GameCube? <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't have this before. Okay, fine. This will be like my personal gaming station because they're not going to let me put the cube. Oh, okay. No, you can't do this to me. There has to be another space. Okay, fine. No one gets the GameCube. Only I get the GameCube. And I'm taking my controllers just so I can have this satisfying space here. There better be enough space for my figurines, dude. And my wigs. A little loop player. Adorable. Good thing that me and my roommates have identical collectibles. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, it's it's worse because every time I take her out, she's not facing me. Like she, it's it's worse because they make me have to rotate her to see her face, and it it literally instills fear into my soul because I never know what facial expression she's gonna have. What are the odds that I chose the one stuffed animal that was always going to go, <laughs> that was always going to be around? I think she does have to go in the kitchen though, because like once again, we have to set up the kitchen the kitchen scene, unless we try to just move these over to another scene. Maybe she teamed up with the dining room friends? I don't know. Decision pending. Oh my gosh, who is this? <laughs> who is this little guy? So rotund. Okay, this little guy can do no wrong. He's with the good guys. There you go. Oh, oh my God, the little baby, the baby. This, this brown frame does not match at all. It's exactly why I'm going to put it here. Oh no, we have this guy too. Here, let's put this back in the kitchen. I can't keep relying on the same things. It would be funny if there was just like a chronic issue though with this one person and like the their inability to navigate um, a tiny, a tiny little bus. I'm losing focus again. I have to get back to who I was. Bedroom. It's the only thing we have left. Dear Lord. Computer. Oh, we have pants. Pant hangers now, that's nice. Still only two though. I am begging this person to just invest in some more hangers. Now we don't have like a bedside table. You have to get up and turn your alarm clock off like a nerd. It'll be under the bed. <laughs> you just reach down and, and just graze the top of the alarm clock and, and then smash it against the opposite wall. Oh my gosh, postcards. This is delightful. I like to think that if they took their stuffed cat to all of these locations, then that means that this person has also almost died in all of these locations as well. They're like, that's crazy, I have the worst luck. I'm just a person with bad luck. Ooh, fancy notebook. Postcard, another notebook. Oh, um, is this a diary or a journal maybe? I wish I could stand this up. Where are these markers? I don't know where they are. Copics probably? They have to be Copics now. Yeah, you're buying them in packs of these. These are definitely Copics. Oh my god, this person is just as bad as I am with buying new sketchbooks and then never finishing any of them. Type. Oh, graphic design. Word. Is this like a computer tower again? 
<laughs> I love that. Like, new monitor, save ass tower. Where's my GameCube gonna go then? Actually, you know where it's gonna go? The GameCube's gonna go in the shower. You know what would be funny? The alarm clock's also in the shower. You wake up one morning and you just hear like a distant like burp, burp, burp. You're like, actually, here, here's the narrative. I'd say, Miss Kitty, let's take her to the bathroom and have her just sit right there on the toilet. As soon as you walk in, she greets you on the toilet. And also she has, um, she has armed herself with a knife. <laughs> She's armed herself with a knife here. Can I put the knife? Yes! <laughs> She's like, try me. And it turns out she's the one who put the game cube and your alarm clock in the shower because she just, she really is fed up with the fact that you're surviving. I'm gonna move this makeup case here. But I like to think that no matter how bad she gets, you just kind of like, like this person that we're playing as just kind of always explains it away. And so even if they walk in one morning and see this cat with a knife after putting the game cube and the alarm clock in the shower, for sure, I feel like this person's just gonna be like, wow, my roommates are crazy. What a prank, huh? Can I roll, can I roll the die, please? Aw, oh, no, I can't. Actually, no, let's put it in the living room so you can have fun with your friends while you're still living. <laughs> same mouse and mouse pad, I love that. Oh, uh -oh. this is the same space problems that I have when I bust out my drawing tablet <laughs> in my home too. I'm really glad this person kept up with journaling. Either that or they're just like me as well, where I would just go out and keep buying journals and diaries and be like, I swear, I swear, journaling and meditation is my thing now. And then, and then within a week, I um, abandoned it so quickly. <gasps> Miss Pig, <laughs> Miss Pig. I want to do this where I might try to put like one of each, one of each stuffed animal in different rooms to see if they could like do something evil, like a secretive task that each of them had. Is this your diploma, dude? Congrats. We're branching out here. Skirts. <laughs> Fashionista? Another one down. Okay, baseball cap, baseball cap. Uh, freaking yeah, that seems about right. Ooh, slightly different colored tennis shoes. Ah, uh, should both, uh both skirts should be. Just for the sake of consistency. And then pants can go in. No, no, that's not right. None of this is right. What is this, a work shirt or something? Oh yeah, it is because you have the matching cap, I think, to, to go to work. That's cute. It's going to the ceiling. <laughs> what are these? What water shoes? I don't. What is this? Are they a scuba diver? Just just pile clothes on the work shirt and pretend that you're not employed. If you don't see it, then you don't have to go to work. If there's another work shirt, dang it, you can't. Now they're gonna be like, "There's no excuse. You have two work shirts. Which one did you lose?" It's like, ah, oh, shoot. Just realize this is not. There we go. It was off center. So sorry for anybody who I who I personally offended. This is cute. Okay. These are jammies. Where the heck am I gonna put jammies in this freaking society? Oh, <laughs> this is the whole apron. They're like, in case you couldn't get it, I am a fast food worker. <laughs> it's like, I get it, girl. I get it. No, I, I wanted the long way. Dude, you're not, there is no way this is not gonna fit the long way. Jammies, jammies, bottoms, bottoms. Oh no, we don't have. You freaking slobs in the dining room need a trash can for sure. Here, let me put one under the table. Absolute beasts. <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah. Getting her fitness. Okay, of course this is the point where it tells me how wrong I've been. Okay, but I need to start looking for crimes. Where could one participate in crimes? Okay, I think what I might do is double down on the electronics here. And I, I really do think that Miss Kitty over here would absolutely wreck your shit and just take all of your electronics one by one in the middle of the night. You don't, you can't, once again, you can't hear her because she's plush. Even the window, yeah, it, it looks like it's like the middle of the night. So, so I would like to think that this is the middle of the night and she's gone and she's taken like all of the major electronics that you have. Let me see if there's anything else she could possibly steal. No, I think that's, I think that's her gig. It's just major electronics here. I think there's a radio we can steal. She's taken all of these belongings and she stole them from you. So that's, that's her trap. That's what she's waiting for. As soon as you open the door, you'll see her looking at you and you're like, oh, what, what kind of prank is this, you guys? some kind of like new roommate hazing or whatever um and then maybe you and maybe you bend down and you try to pick up all the electronics and then maybe it's this like well but it'd be so funny if it's just perfect trajectory i don't think that'd work um hmm, it'd have to be something else ah wait this one's a pretty interesting one let's go see this <laughs> it does slot <laughs> well then if that's the case then I, I would just do the febreze okay there there is a there's a plot happening i think i think the main plot goes down in the bathroom okay this makes sense it's the middle of the night, 
but in your subconscious, in your sleep, you hear your alarm clock going off and you're like, okay, that's weird. It's my alarm clock, but it's like super distant. And so it triggers you to wake up. Then you hear it and you're like, where is my alarm clock? Cause usually it's underneath your bed and normally you would take it and grab it and chuck it against the wall <laughs> to turn it off, but it's not there. So you go to the bathroom where you hear it. Imagine this is pitch darkness. Go into the bathroom to, when you hear it. There's like moonlight streaming through the window again, as usual. You see your cat outlined and you're like, okay, that's interesting. What's that beside her? I can't make that out. And so you're like, okay, whatever. But you can't focus because your alarm clock is just like beep, beep, beep. And then you're, you're, you're scared that it's going to wake your roommates up. So you're like, shit, I got to take care of this alarm clock first before I figure anything else out. And then you turn your alarm clock off, look around and realize that all of your electronics, just yours specifically, are in the shower. And you're like, oh, my roommates are kind of insane. I don't know how they even pulled this prank. Thanks, guys. You reach down, you collect all of the stuff in your arms, and then you stand back up. But as soon as you stand back up in the shower, your, <laughs> your, your little friend here reaches up and sprays Febreze directly into your eyes. And then the shock and pain of Febreze getting sprayed directly into your eyes causes you to fall backward against the glass, possibly breaking it. But I don't know what would happen next. Hmm. Okay, maybe if you fall against the glass, you try to like stumble your way backwards out of the shower to like, you know, go wash your eyes out. And then at this point, the cat will push. She'll be like, yeet. She'll, <laughs> she'll push the knife onto the floor, but you won't. You won't die on the knife, you just, your foot steps on the knife and then the slippery metal of it causes you to slip off of the knife <laughs> and, and, ah, oh, shoot, I need something here. I need like more things. If this is gonna be like a true, a true scene that I need to, I need to really go all out on this one, huh? Oh no. <laughs> Well, this won't do anything. It's one pound. Oh no. Wait, that's a really good idea. <laughs> if only there were like Legos in this game. If only I could step on a Lego. I think that would be a crime scene in and of itself. Oh yeah, I, I can't leave Miss Piggy out. I mean, she's like, she's, she's part of the, part of the problem here. Cause then she could be next to the raid. <laughs> she, she could be right there at the raid. At the ready, at the raid. Which means that we won't need these handy dandy things that we've already overused, if you ask me. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm done for this level. All right, so here it is. Okay, let's just set the scene. Let's move all this irrelevant stuff out of here. It's the middle of the night. You've just finished moving into your new apartment. You're sleeping and all of a sudden you hear in the faint distance your alarm clock going off, which subconsciously makes your brain wake up automatically. And you think you might hear it in the bathroom of all places. So you head out to check. You walk into the bathroom and it's so pitch black you can barely make anything out just with the moonlight coming through the window. You don't have time to fumble around for the light switch. You just know that you would need to cut your alarm clock off before it wakes anybody else in the house up. So you stumble over to where you hear it. Oh, wait, hold on, let's put that back. So you stumble over to where you hear the alarm clock, you turn it off and then you like peer into the darkness and you're like, isn't that my GameCube? Isn't that my boombox? My handheld portable gaming device and my mp3 player so still in your half dazed half awake state you try to gather up all of these belongings and they're really heavy but as soon as you straighten up you suddenly get a spray of cold febreze into your eyes and you have no idea how because the only thing next to the febreze was this totally inanimate toy object that is definitely not sentient and also cannot move on its own accord definitely the febreze makes you stumble backwards and maybe while you're stumbling, you drop all the electronics right on your toes. That That's just like extra insult to injury. Then while you're stumbling backwards, you hear like a little clink before you know what's going on. Your foot slips on some kind of cold metal and then you're suddenly sent careening <laughs> down onto the tile floor again for the second time in a bathroom. While you're laying on the floor, still trying to figure out what the heck just happened, you look up to see that your kitty is on sitting on the toilet seat and you're like that's odd i did not leave her there and while you're trying to decipher that you look over to the side and see that your stuffed pig is holding an open raid can <laughs> towards your face and they douse your face in raid which causes you to cough and splutter and roll around until you hit the washing machine which causes your weights to fall off of the machine and onto your head <laughs> jesus christ this is so dark and so now you're like unconscious with like two, two dumbbells. I know that they're only like one pound, but I still like to think that 
it would it would be kind of a hard hit from that height, you know, like if you're on the floor. And so once you're unconscious with two dumbbells, um, I feel like huh, I need another. You know what? I might indoctrinate yet another. <laughs> Uh, should the mother be evil or should the baby be evil? I think I like the idea of the baby being evil uh, and the mother just has no idea. All right, I'm gonna indoctrinate this baby chick. It's like our newest perpetrator. Okay, but they're the one that, they're the one. <laughs> they're the one that pushed the dumbbells down. So once the dumbbells fall onto your head, they also will jump onto the washing machine levers um, while the pig opens the washing machine door and whatever suds and water are produced from the washing machine It'll just ooze right onto your face while you're unconscious so that you just make sure to wake up really wet But you won't drown because of course there is a handy drain right there I think the drain is the only thing that the the kitty didn't account for you know her IQ is high But it's not super high. I mean she still is a stuffed animal So she just couldn't account for the fact that you wouldn't drown because there is a, a very easy accessible drain here and then your roommates <laughs> I assume, would wake up the next morning and be understandably freaked the fuck out <laughs> as to how it happened. And maybe they would try to convince you that your toys are all evil and you would say, no, this just happens to me a lot. It's crazy. I think, I, I think, I, I think it's a ghost, really. I think I'm haunted. And then you would go about your life. But I really do like that scene for this level. <laughs> it's getting more elaborate. It's getting more elaborate and I do love it. You know what? Let's take a picture. <laughs> Let's take a picture. I don't even think I took a picture of the last scene, so I, I might need to go back and take another picture. Suddenly! Oh my gosh, like, that's perfect. Suddenly. That is actually perfect. Hold on. No, yeah, I like that. We're keeping this. Um, we're gonna do the, the, the deep noir again, even though I do like the, I do like this crime scene, but, but this just has the drama, right? Like, the vignette. It, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, thumbs up! I don't even know. I don't know where to put it. These are the stars that are going to be like circling around your head when you're unconscious, like the stars and birds that <laughs> that circle around people's heads in cartoons. That's what this signifies. <laughs> also, the cat is like, love that. Love this for you, babe. Picture perfect. Okay, now that we're actually done making this crime scene, I have to go through and I have to like fix all of this stuff. So um, I will be right back. All right, now it officially accepts me. I would like to see the playback of that. It's probably gonna be like five minutes long, man. This was a big day, I'm ready for bed. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the playback here. It's gonna be so chaotic. Oh, this is when I started plotting. <laughs> you can just see my deranged, my deranged like logic. Interesting, I didn't even know I set that up so early. It's bad, it's amazing how bad my memory is. Cause like, I thought I did like the cat on the toilet with a knife thing at like the very end after I had unpacked all of it, but okay. And this is when I start straightening everything back out. All right, this was a big day indeed. I am also ready for bed. Well, thank you guys for coming along with me on that very strange journey. I don't know why I had the urge to, to handcraft meticulous crime scenes in this very wholesome, very beautiful game. I love, just like the art style is amazing, the music is amazing. I don't, I wasn't able to capture the music or sound effects because my recording system doesn't really do that well for games. So I've probably already replaced all of the music in this video with like super generic stuff. But this was a very delightful game. And um, I'm sure, I don't know how many more levels there are, but I am, I am 100% down to try this again and keep making more and more elaborate crime scenes, especially now that I've, Especially now that I've found two very unlikely culprits that are gonna be probably present at every scene. And if they're not, we're gonna we're gonna mourn them. <laughs> or maybe it means that they'll be locked behind bars, as they should be. They're evil. But just let me know if you all want to see more making a crime scene and unpacking videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and go out there and Make your own crime scenes. <laughs> That's not, that is not what I should be encouraging my viewers to do. Well, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.